What is going on people? Today, as promised, we are diving into the season tech video, taking a look at everything that you may have missed, along with talking about my thoughts on this and how Intrepid has once again set a new standard for the MMORPG genre. Diving into this 30 minute gameplay, we start off seeing the first look at the Vec in game. This is the first time we have seen this race outside of the character creator and concept art in the world and running around. It's still a work in progress, but it's nice to see the new guys showing up and being more playable. The gameplay takes place in a small part of the Riverlands, which is said to be one of the largest biomes in Ashes of Creation. The only one that looks to surpass it is the snowy region on the other side of the world. The Riverlands is the starting area for the Ayla humans, where you will get to explore the ruins of their once massive capital city. The zone itself has ancient ruins and rivers running through it, where you can even see some merchant ships sailing in the background. Right now, these appear to be NPC ships, but I assume you'll be able to sail through here as a player as well. This is one of the first times we actually see ships functioning in the game, so it's a pretty cool feat, even if they are away in the distance. There also appears to be some floating islands in the background as well, which for some reason I was not expecting. I'm curious what the lore behind this is and if there'll be ways to get up there and explore those. There don't appear to be too many of them though, so it could just be all around the same location that has some magical event happen causing this, but I guess we'll have to wait until Alpha 2 to find out. The Riverland has a more traditional set of seasons than what we may experience in some zones, with fall showing the changing of color and the leaves starting to fall from the tree with dust blowing by in the wind. Winter will have the ground covered in snow, spring will have lots of wind, rain, and thunderstorms, and summer with the bright sun and flowers in full bloom. The sounds of the world will also change as when it's raining, you'll hear the watery footsteps compared to the dry grass on sunny days compared to the crunchy sound of snow. Seasons will be kicked off with weather events, which could be something along the lines of a giant blizzard or huge thunderstorms. I personally hope that we'll get to see hurricane-like weather in the tropical zones and maybe some magical base seasons as well, which will make even more sense knowing that season changes can be influenced by players as well, and if the week cycle is not complete yet, that season still has a chance at being altered by the players, whether that be from unlocking a new raid boss or a node acquiring a magical item. This tech is by far some of the craziest and coolest I've ever seen in an MMO. Having the weather change over time, completely changing up the environment and how you choose to play the game is incredible. We see a frozen passage that melts away in the spring, revealing an entrance to a castle that you couldn't get to in the winter, where Intrepid could hide chests or resources or something like that, but in this case, it's a sandal. We also see that the animals and creatures of this biome change as well, with things as subtle as their fur coat or skin color changing, including the dragon changing from the Drake of the Canopy into a Frost Dragon. You can also see what I presume is the same dragon flying around the zone throughout most of the game gameplay reveal, which adds to some cool immersion in the world. Seasons will also have a huge impact on trade routes where they can affect mountain passes and they could be closed or open depending on the seasons, changing up which way you may have to transport those goods. There is also the potential of even rivers freezing over, but Intrepid is working on how they would deal with players getting trapped beneath them. They also affect resources, siege weapon movement, and mounts, which may drive slower in the snow or the muddy spring. Loot tables, spells, and targeting can also be affected, and with targeting, you can get a smaller radius in the stormy weather. It is said at launch that these season changes will happen over hours and you will barely notice the changes when they start. Like in real life where it just kind of happens and you don't really notice it going on in the background. And each season is still said to last a week. One of my all-time favorite things from this video though is the wind technology. Steven played around with it a bit and the wind will move even the cloth on your armor. You can see the tall grass blowing around, the trees in the background swaying with it, and I'm willing to bet that node banners will blow around and things like that as well and it's just very well done and a detail that I was not expecting and you don't see in any video games let alone MMORPGs. I will continue to say but this tech is amazing. It's really blown me out of the water and we are still in the alpha stages. Nothing here is final which means it's going to get even better and what we are seeing is the standard that Intrepid is setting for alpha 2. We saw it a few months ago with the character creator and now the seasons in the world itself which will really change about how you go playing compared to other MMOs. We did see Intrepid's first iteration of the season system a way back in the pre-alpha days, and I'm not sure what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting the amount of detail that Intrepid has put into this. And if Intrepid continues to keep pushing forward the standard like this, they are really gonna own or reshape the MMORPG market. What are your favorite features with the season tech in Ashes of Creation? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral 
referral link in the description below, as all referrals will go towards benefiting and improving this channel. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.